the first way is by reducing the U length of thermoval. So this is typically the first method that is used, which is to reduce the U length of the thermoval. So when we reduce the U length of the thermoval, we try that now should it pass by the wake frequency test as per ASME PTC 19.3. But what happens is there are certain client requirements that you need to keep your U length up till two thirds of the pipe or 10 times the diameter of the thermoval. So for such cases, there are certain limitations that come towards reducing the U length. So if we can reduce the U length and keep within such criteria, or we can ask for an exception, then we can use this method. What if this method is not applicable or we can't use this, then we can increase the tip diameter or the thickness of the thermoval. Now every solution here has some pros and some cons. So what happens here is if you increase the thickness, the response time of the thermoval gets affected. So the response time would increase. So if that is acceptable to the client, then we might go ahead with this particular solution. If this solution doesn't work, then we can increase the base thickness of the thermoval. So basically this thickness of the thermoval can be increased. But again, there are few uh, important points to be noted. This thermoval would be inserted in a nozzle. So we need to see the nozzle ID and this OD should not be so great that it's not able to fit inside the uh, ID of the nozzle. That care we need to take. And especially if the nozzle has cladding to it or the thermoval has cladding to it and the schedule of the nozzle, etc., has to be seen. If this is not feasible, then we can install the thermoval on an elbow. So the elbow installation of thermoval is another option where the wake frequency, as per ASME uh, PTC 19.3, they don't say that then you don't have to do wake frequency calculations, but majority of the time, because of such an installation, the uh, velocity is greatly reduced. How? If you see, let's imagine that this is an elbow and we insert a thermoval here. So the tip as per ASME uh, PTC 19.3 should be facing towards the flow. That is the recommended installation practice. So here's the flow. And what happens is majority of the velocity is hitting the tip. So the uh, probability for one Kerman vertices to be formed reduces greatly. So this is another way where you can uh, use if your wake frequency calculation is uh, failing for your thermoval. The next thing that we can use is increasing the rating of the thermoval. This indirectly is increasing the schedule or thickness of the thermoval. So what if we go from 150 rating to 300 rating? Yes, that is another option that can be used. Or we can go ahead with special type of thermovals, which are called as, uh, you know, you have a spike kind of things wound around the thermoval. There are various manufacturers have different name for it. Like an example could be Scruton well thermovals by Weika or twisted square thermovals by Rosemount. So such thermovals greatly um, break in the von Kerman vertices and reduce the effect of having these uh, vertices create vibrations that can in turn damage your thermoval. So this was about the thermoval question. Now, if you're finding these videos valuable, then you could subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. So every Saturday you can learn a new video, a new educational video. Thank you.